My makeup looks so inspired by Christmas and like way too early for the season, but I do not care. Hi guys and welcome to a new haul video. I asked you guys on my Snapchat because I'm like hooked, addicted on that little app thing. I asked you guys if you wanted to see a haul video because my friend was recently visiting me from Missouri. I went to a Hosier concert, but long story short, while she was here, I took her to like all the places to go shop and I went to two places where I got a few things and I wanted to show you all the great things I got there. You guys asked for it and one of the places is Sephora, Sephora, and the other one is Daiso, which is a Japanese $1.50 store here and it's like... All the things you didn't know that you needed is there. You go there and it's like, excuse me, I want all of the dollar kawaii cute pink things with fruits and animals on it. <sighs> it's so great. So we are gonna go to Sephora first. I just got a little mini bag. One of the things I got there is the grease relief. I got not one but two and I have one in the little bag that I took to Comic-Con. That's why we went there. I think we went the day before I went to Comic-Con. So I got two of these and these are great to reduce oil, clean your face, take off makeup. They have a soft side and a like exfoliating side. It's great. And I got a new thing called the Blotterazzi. I went there for this and I already opened this and used it. It is so not only adorable, I mean it looks like a water droplet, but it's like a little compact mirror. And they have not one but two sponges that look like and they're the same material I think as the Beauty Blender, but like they're thin and like cut like this. And it blots away the oil from your makeup without taking away too much. And you could use it in cream products and other makeups to touch up your face throughout the Day. It is just so useful. You keep washing these and they are kind of pricey instead of like the rice paper But you're gonna save more money over time having this because this probably lasts around six months or longer I like how they have a ventilation so it won't get like moldy or anything if they're wet or have product on it I think about these things Speaking of beauty blenders, I got another beauty cleanser solid. These are great for traveling because it's not a liquid and it cleans your brushes and your beauty blender I also got my new all-time favorite lip balm, which is the Rose Smith's Rosebud Salve. This stuff is the greatest lip balm I've ever used. They have one that's also minty, but I like the rosy one, and it's just really easy to use. It's not like, I don't like those ones that's like in a pot. This one just like squirts out in a tube. Now I own two of these because I do not want to lose it. Next is a lipstick that I'm wearing today, and it's from the Sephora collection, the Sephora Rouge Lipstick in Temptation. It is like this rusty deep wine red with hints of gold in it. It is so beautiful. I had to get it. It's like one of my new favorites. And what's great about it is if you have chapped lips and like whatever you do after exfoliating, after lip balm, if it just like keeps staying chapped, this actually makes the chapped lips look semi cool because it's like a foiled effect. I know that sounds really gross and weird, but I don't know what it is. This is just like so great. I would love to see this on all types of skin tones. I bet you it will work on everybody's skin tone. It's so great. I love this and it's like the newest one that's like in the front. It was on the end cap. It's, I love it. Sephora, like the in-house brand, I feel like is so underrated because they're matte lip creams. Whew, great stuff. Another thing that I'm wearing on my face, specifically my eyes I got at Sephora, is by Christian Dior. It was such a splurge item, but I had to get it. It is the Fluid Shadow, the Dior Addict one, and oh, it's, I'm all about these rusty red colors, just reds and golds. I could wear them all the time on my face. Reds, bronze, golds, it's my favorite combo. And this looks like a fancy perfume bottle, but you open it up and it's like looks like a lipstick, but it's actually an eyeshadow. And what I do is, you're gonna get a little messy but I put it on my lash line and then blend it up into my crease and with my finger and your fingers get dirty but the effect it gives is so worth it it's so pigmented it doesn't like flake off or ch get chalky and splotchy it is so great it was pricey I was going to get the silver and gold but I didn't want to spend all that money and I'm still thinking about going back and getting it we'll see because these are a pretty penny and it's like literally burgundy rust in a jar for your eyeballs Next thing I got there is one of my new favorite lipsticks. It looks a little bit different on everybody. I love lipsticks that are like that because this might look more brown, mauve, or pink depending on your skin tone, but it's the Urban Decay 1993 Matte Lipstick. This stuff, 
Oh my goodness, I've been thinking about getting this since I was in Texas last with Bunny because she got it, my friend Sydney got it, and I'm like, okay, I need to join the party. And this is like a weird brown with mauve and depends on your skin tone it might come a little berry on me it looks like a slight berry and i'll put a picture right here of me wearing it oh, this stuff is just so great and i feel like almost every single uh skin tone i would love to see this on now that we traveled to sephora it is time to go into our asian dollar store haul from daiso i got a big bag of a lot of stuff let me just grab what's first up here, this random stick looking thing, which is to hold your boots. I have many a boots and I wanted ones that like, it clips at the top and it has them stand up by themselves and it just organizes your boots so you have them standing in your closet or something. And I mean, it's pink and cute. Why wouldn't you want it? It's $1.50. That's what is the problem with Daiso. Everything you go in there for, I'm like, don't worry about it. it's only $1.50 and then you go to the register and it's like almost $50 because I buy so many things you're like what did I just do with my life that's the problem with dollar stores but enough on that I still love the things I also got this to organize lipsticks hopefully in one of my dressers it has these dividers in it I mean look at the designs it's like floral with like it almost looks like plastic crochet it has like these etchings in it which is great you could put like beauty blenders have them stand up while they're drying because it has this ventilation in it that would be a great thing i think yeah i did get two of those and i had to get straws i don't know why i love their straws this is only a dollar fifty for like so many pastel straws i mean if i'm gonna get straws why wouldn't i want them to be rainbow pastels sounds magical speaking of stuff you put in your kitchen and the things you eat you might need some ice cubes and i got these ones and i like that they're silicone because the ice could pop out easily from there because some of the ice cubes that you get at the dollar daiso the ice cube trays they crack and unfortunately daiso is only in california i found out i don't know if it's in other states i don't think so but right now it's only in california i heard they might expand but i'm not sure this is great and it's bright green like alien green i love it and they have great travel things i didn't use this though when i went traveling because it's over three ounces at 3.38 but i figure like why not try it and just don't fill it up all the way and are the travel tsa people gonna be like oh that's just like way too big it's like 0.3 bigger than the three ounces are they really going to know i will try and hopefully let you know on snapchat or something because snapchat new addiction and i got oh my gosh halloween nails i really want to see if these work out because the designs on these are so cute there's like dracula a ghost there's a frankenstein there's a mummy just everything i also got these other little travel ones these ones are so great i already used one they look like little tiny toothpaste tubes and they're like squishy these are perfect if you're going only away for like a week if you want shampoo or something if you don't shampoo your hair every day like i don't I don't know if that's TMI and it's kind of dirty, but I don't shampoo my hair every day. I've got high chew wrappers because I ate all of the high chews. <sighs> they have great snacks and foods there as well, but I'm allergic to a lot of things, so I cry and can't eat all of them. And I got this, and it looks like a little honey pot, but I got it to store my cotton balls for when I paint my nails and everything. But look at it, it looks like a Winnie the Pooh honey pot. Or is it just me? And it has like a little lid with like a little honey dipper like spoon in it. This is so cute. I had to get it. They have such cute cups, glassware. They have cups with like little toppers on it so that you could store like your leftover milk for children or something or tea in the refrigerator. That place, you could find like a container that just stores your banana in perfect shape for bananas there. It's just magical. And I also got cute floral, of course. One of my favorite colors is floral kitchen gloves i mean i needed to get these right they were just speaking to me can't you hear them another thing i got was this happy monster i love their little like tea towel things to wash your face and this one says happy monster it's like halloween themed so i had to get it and i got this gothic looking contact lens case holder excuse me it's like so like majestic looking it's like Victorian with black and a rose in the middle and all I just love gaudy Victorian things like this and Unfortunately the last thing in the bag I got isn't that exciting It is a slicer and you can slice tomatoes or cheese on it and just press it down on something And it's like less effort one move instead of like a dozen to slice an apple or something. Well, not an apple It has a tomato right here 
So I hope you guys liked this haul video. Leave me a comment down below on what was your favorite item that you would want in this video. If you find any dollar stores, they are honestly great for storage things, especially for makeup artists and people who are into arts and crafts. I hope you guys had fun hanging out with me today because I always have fun hanging out with you and I will see you in another video. Love you all. Bye.